Hi, I'm Nan. My website is seedforsecurity.com. Now today, I'm harvesting some Indian corn. And this year, I planted four rows, and they're 60 feet rows. It's important when you plant corn that it is together. You can plant much shorter rows, but you need a block of four. And that's because it's wind pollinated, so you need to have that in order to pollinate effectively. Now this is our Flint Indian corn. And how do I know it's ready? Well, as you can see, most of the stalks are dry. Here the rest of them in the wind, they are bone dry. All right, and a lot of times, the corn just turns right upside down. It's really neat because if it should rain, a lot of the water will just drip right off of it. Anyway, so let's start. Let's just take this. There we go. And I simply husk it. What do we have here? Oh, pretty yellow and black. Never know what color they're going to be. Now that's a nice ear. About 10 inches long. Very nice. I just put it into my basket. Okay, let's go down. All right, what do we have here? Check it out. Also dry, totally dry stock. And this here, looks like it's starting to pop open. Oh, that's a beautiful red. I don't know if you can see it, but it's gorgeous. Also a nice long ear. Break it off. Take some of the silk off. Don't want some. Discard it. Put it in the basket. I don't know if you can see these beautiful colors. They're just great. Now this ear here, I'm not going to pick because as you can see, the stalk is still receiving nourishment. It's green. This is not going to be ready. It's not ripe yet. So in this manner, this is how I harvest my Flint Indian corn. Then I bring it up near my house and I have wire racks that I lay it out in the sun to completely dry. At the end of the day, I bring it in my house because the dew will fall on it. And I do this for about two weeks, depending on the weather. Here in New England, it tends to be wet. We have had a nice dry spell, but that's why I bring it in every night and every sunny day, I lay it out on the racks to completely dry. Now when this process is done, I know the corn is completely dry because I take a kernel and I smash it with a hammer on concrete and if it shatters, it's dry. If it's a little mushy, it is not dry enough. When it is completely dry, I have a little handheld device, a little metal corn extractor from kernels, and I use that to extract the kernels. If I didn't have that, I could remove the, the, the corn from a completely dry ear by twisting it this way and that way, and the kernels would fall off. Then they need to be stored in glass or in a plastic Ziploc bag, kept in a cool, dry location. This corn will keep very well for 10 years or more. So it's a very, very good product, good to have, and fun to harvest. Thank you.